I want you to imagine for a moment what it would be like to be able to handle any emotion. So what I mean by this is the worst that's ever going to happen in our life is an emotion. When we lose someone we love, when we don't get a job promotion, when we want to eat all the food, the worst that's going to happen is an emotion of grief, disappointment, sadness, urges, cravings. And so many of us really avoid our emotions. So we hold ourselves back. We don't go for presentations or promotions because of the nerves of doing it. We hold ourselves back from being the best version of ourselves because we don't want to be embarrassed or we don't want to be shamed or we don't want to be criticized because ultimately it's going to make us feel bad. And we end up reaching for the sugar or the alcohol or the buying something else, scrolling on social media, watching porn in order to try and feel better. But what if... What if you could handle any emotion that life sent your way? It's your thoughts that create your emotions anyway. So at all times, we're creating our our emotional experience of any given situation. And I really believe that when we can handle any emotion... That's really building our self-confidence. We really get to step into those uncomfortable moments and then soar away from them because we've been willing to feel that discomfort. So I've recently listened to a book called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway by Susan Jeffers. And this is what she teaches, right? She teaches us to feel the fear and do the thing anyway. And that's no different to what I teach my clients. I teach my clients how to feel their urges and not eat the food anyway. Because the urge for sugar, whatever your thing is, it is just an emotion created by a thought. It's a treat. It's a reward. It'll make me feel better. None of those thoughts are actually true anyway. It doesn't make you feel better. You feel actually a 10, 10 times worse on the other side. But that's kind of irrelevant. If you are able to deal with that urge, if you are willing to feel uncomfortable temporarily, you then feel so incredible long term. So just have a little think in your life. What is holding you back? What aren't you willing to feel? Maybe it's frustration. Maybe it's anxiety. Maybe it's embarrassment. How many of us don't try something new in case we get it wrong and then we become embarrassed? So we just stay stuck as we are. And I really believe that you can learn how to handle any emotion. I could teach you right now. The the way that you process any emotion is to just go down into your body and ask yourself, where in my body do I feel this emotion? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it fast or is it slow? Is it heavy or is it light? What color is it? Now, I know for some of you, you're going to be like, what are you talking about, Nikki? Because the first time I said this to my husband, he was like, what are you talking about? But he's gotten really good at this now. You have to learn it. It's not a skill that we're taught. And actually, we're, we're never taught how to process our emotions. But when you realize that you can feel frustrated and experience that frustration without responding to it, when you realize you can feel angry, experience that anger and not respond to it, 
when you realize you can experience the urge for sugar and not respond to it, you feel so incredible on the other side. Your self-confidence blooms. It is that it is that discomfort and experiencing that discomfort that grows us as humans. Feeling nervous and asking for the promotion. Feeling nervous and asking for the pay rise. Feeling nervous and approaching someone to ask them for a date. It doesn't matter what area of your life you're feeling that emotion you can actually handle it you don't have to respond from it you can simply process it ex fully experience it in your body and then it releases you so research tells us that um, our emotions, when, when we're allowing them, only last for 90 seconds. And it feels like, I think especially with anger, it feels like when we respond from anger, that is us processing it. But we're not processing it, we're responding from it. We're reacting from it. That's very different. The other side isn't peaceful. When we shout and scream, we still feel a bit irked it afterwards. But it takes a very strong person to actually be able to experience that emotion, any emotion, and realize that they can do the things anyway. They can do the hard things anyway. That's how you build amazing self confidence. Then you don't need to get caught up in the worry of something. Because most of the time we're worried about an event that may or may not happen that's going to make us feel in some way negative. But if you can handle that negative emotion, you don't need to worry about the event. There is nothing to worry about. You might not want it to happen, but you don't have to spend time being anxious or worrying about it. So can you handle any emotion? And I'd like to offer you that you can. So one of the things I've been practicing recently in my own self-coaching is when I feel self-doubt, when I feel nervous, when I feel dread. So I, just, I suppose dread is like anxiety. Even for me, sometimes it's, it's it, I can't even say the word, it's success. I sometimes, I, a lot of times struggle feeling successful. It's like an emotion that I'm not used to experiencing. So I push it away and I try and avoid it. So here's what I do. I put my hand on my heart. I take a deep breath. And I just say to myself, I can handle self-doubt. I am safe to experience self-doubt. I am safe to experience anxiety. I am safe to experience success. I will handle it. I can handle it. So even if you just say that to yourself this week, just notice when you're experiencing an uncomfortable emotion, put your hand on your heart, take a deep breath, tell yourself you're safe because I'm assuming you're not actually in a life or death situation. If you're in a life or death situation, please don't do this. <laughs> but having a, com having a challenging um, conversation, making a phone call, um, doing a presentation, they are not, being in the supermarket surrounded by chocolate is not a life-threatening situation. Standing in front of your cupboard, knowing your favorite cake is on the inside, calling out to you is not a life-threatening situation. And if you're able to put your hand on your heart, tell you it's safe for me to experience this urge. It's safe for me to experience this dread. Then actually that moment becomes life enhancing. 
Have an amazing week. I'd love to hear how you've got on. So if this at all resonates with you, please give me a comment, reply to the email. Let me know how you've got on because I love hearing from my clients. And of course, if you like, again, like what you're hearing, make sure you subscribe, turn on all the notifications because I do send out lots of valuable information that can help you to manage your mind, manage your emotions and live your life. Have an amazing week and I'll speak to you all again next week. Bye.